What's going on guys? We are in the office today for a very special Black Friday edition. So before you go uh, buying gifts for your favorite meathead on your Christmas list, I want you to consider sharing the gift of knowledge. So Rogue Fitness, makers of this thing and whatever the hell this is supposed to be, have blessed us this year with the cure-all for anterior shoulder pain, the bow tie. So it's going to bring our shoulder blades together for a superior posture and maximize muscle memory and all that stuff. But uh, before you go spending 70 bucks on uh, male support, I want you to consider the Muscle Docs bow tie. So the cure-all for anterior shoulder pain. So how we sort of use accessory work to get rid of our shoulder pain instead of buying accessories to get rid of our shoulder pain. So uh, what we want to think about is reducing this internal single ply fascial suit that a lot of powerlifters and bodybuilders are walking around with. So it breaks down into three components. Step number one, increasing thoracic extension. Thoracic extension is going to dictate how well we can retract and depress our shoulder blades. Look at that, that's number two. Scapular retraction and depression is going to be a huge factor in opening up that subacromial space where we get that pinching pain on the press. And number three, real simple, if we have internally rotated shoulders, we need to balance rotational forces of the glenohumeral joint. So loosening up things that are tight that are going to internally rotate our shoulders, pec, slats, joint capsules, what have you, but also strengthening things that are going to actively externally rotate the shoulder to actually have a balanced posture. So we're going to walk through this real quick. Number one, thoracic extension. It's going to look very simple. It's going to look like this. Okay, so thoracic extension, step number one. We're gonna get over that roller, keep the hips down, thoracic spine extension, try and drop the back of the hands down to the floor, bringing the chin up. Number two, scapular retraction and depression. It's gonna look something like this. We're gonna use the high face pull. So starting with the shoulder blades elevated and protracted, we're gonna train them to retract and depress, creating that posterior tilt, open up that subacromial space. Last but not least, this is sort of a two-part. Balancing glenohumeral rotation requires stretching out anterior structures, pecs and lats, uh, primarily that are gonna draw us into internal rotation. So that's gonna look something like this. And then lastly, strengthening external rotators, infraspinatus teres minor specifically. So you're going to use uh, two different joint positions to externally rotate. It's going to look something like this. So arm pinned at the side first, externally rotate. Uh, focus not on extending the wrist, but just externally rotating the shoulder. And then second one, elbow at 90 degrees, 30 degrees flexion, externally rotate from there, 12 to 15 reps each. And go through this cycle a few times before you train. So there you have it. Uh, for your holiday season, share the gift of the Muscle Dogs bow tie. So uh, spread this around, tag a friend, and we'll see you next time.